Hello viewers, hope everyone is doing well. Now I know it's been a couple of months since I did an update video on the 2016 Hyundai Elantra that I picked up used back in early April. Now since that time I've done some minor fixes to the vehicle like fixing the broken shark fin antenna and the broken mudguard. I also picked up some accessories for the vehicle just to make it look a little nicer. Now in this video I'll show you everything that I've done to this vehicle and what it looks like now. So stay tuned. One other thing I need to fix is a missing shark fin antenna cover. Now the previous owner told me it broke off when he took it to a car wash and the cover screwed on to this base with these posts that you see right here. And you can see these posts broke off. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the cover anymore. Now you can buy a brand new replacement antenna and that'll cost about $100, but I'm not gonna replace it because the installation is a pain in the butt. There's a nut underneath the antenna inside the vehicle that you have to remove this means I have to remove the entire headliner inside the vehicle just to get to that nut. So instead, I'm gonna put a universal shark fin antenna onto this existing antenna. Here's a look at the universal shark fin antenna. Now this one I got is also a white. They do come in black, silver, red, all the common colors you find on vehicles. And here's a look at the bottom. Comes with the double-sided tape and screws, which I'm not gonna be using because I'm not gonna use the antenna inside this cap. All I really want is for this to fit over the existing antenna base so it's not exposed to the element anymore. So I'm gonna remove this internal antenna piece. I went ahead and removed this bottom piece you see right here. For this to fit the contour of the roof, I just sand down the side right here. As you can see, it fits very nicely. So the next thing I'll do is put 3M double-sided tape around the bottom edge and then stick this directly on the roof. So there you go, it's installed now. So in the first video where I showed you this car, I mentioned one of the mud guard is broken and the one you're looking at right now is the rear passenger side. Right here is a set of four mud guards I picked up off eBay for about $15. Now these are aftermarket, but they are made specifically for the Hyundai Elantra. It also comes with uh, screws. Now since only one of the one on the back is broken, I'm gonna replace the two back mud guards and leave the front ones alone. So this mud guard is held in place by two Phillips screws right here. Now because the tire is so close to it, it's hard to get a screwdriver behind it. So I'm using this DeWalt right angle screwdriver adapter. And this tool will allow me to get right behind the screw and remove the screw. Here's a broken one. I'm just gonna clean this up. Here's a look at the mud guard installed. With those two items fixed, let me show you the accessories that I added to the car. First is a set of universal WeatherTech all-weather floor mats. Now with these, you don't have to worry about dragging water, mud, dirt into the car. You can clean it up by simply vacuuming the floor mats, or if it's really dirty, you can take it out and rinse it. To install it, all you have to do is cut it to size. I cut the new floor mats to match the size of the original carpet floor mats and then installed it into the car. Next, I did a chrome undelete on the door handles. I picked up a set of chrome door handle covers and this set is made for the Elantra without the push button start. And that's why it has a keyhole for the driver's side door handle. Here's a quick look at the door handles. As you can see, they're just painted white. In this bottle, I have some rubbing alcohol. Clean the surface. So here are all the pieces. This side is a passenger side, and this side is a driver's side. You want to line up the back edge right here and then push down on it and hold it for a minute. This is the other piece. Line up this front edge 
and this one's done. Repeat the same steps for the other ones. And here's what it looks like with the chrome covers installed. I also installed a home link auto dimming mirror, which I did a video on already. Below the mirror, I installed a rear view mirror mount for the unit and R3 radar detector. Every car needs a good foam mount. This is my favorite magnetic foam mount. It's made by the company Cafel. It also comes with metal discs that you stick on the back of your phone. Installation is very simple. Just clean the surface with rubbing alcohol and then use a double sided tape on the back and stick it directly on the surface. And once you have it installed, just place the phone on the magnetic base and it'll hold the phone securely. You can also rotate your phone and use it for navigation or watching a movie. Since I installed the same phone mount in all my cars, it's very easy to use this between different cars. Next, I installed a set of metal sports pedal. Now these pedals are made specifically for the Hyundai vehicles. Installation is not difficult at all. The gas pedal cover slips right onto the original pedal. Now just to make sure the pedal doesn't come off, I place a couple of pieces of 3M double-sided tape behind it. And once it's installed, it's not going to come loose. Push this down. Now with the brake pedal, you need to remove the original rubber cover. After you do that, then slip on the new one. Make sure the rubber edge around the entire thing is wrapped behind the metal pedal. And the last piece is a dead pedal that goes on the left side. There is a protective film you can remove. To install this is very simple. There's a big double side tape at the back. Remove the backing and then stick this directly onto the dead pedal. Again, clean the surface with rubbing alcohol. Once you have it in position, press it and hold it down. As you can see, this sports pedal set looks really good. And this is an easy upgrade for this vehicle. I also installed this OEM Hyundai spoiler on this Elantra. And I'll have a separate video showing you how I installed this. As you can see, it looks a lot better with the spoiler installed. With the Hyundai badge on the trunk, I also laid blue vinyl behind the badge. Next, I'll be installing this beautiful chrome exhaust tip. Now looking at the factory exhaust, you'll see this part is bent. So I actually bought this one that accommodates the curve of the exhaust pipe. So let me show you how this gets installed. There are two set screws over here. Use an Allen wrench to tighten this down. Once you have this tightened down, then use a 12 millimeter socket and tighten this nut. Do this on both sides, and this will keep the exhaust tip from falling off. And to prevent the set screw from loosening, I'll apply some thread lock. All you have to do is slip this on. Use a 12 millimeter socket and tighten this down. And here's a look at the installed exhaust tip. Now, if you know anything about car mods, adding an exhaust tip like this will easily add 5 horsepower. <laughs> and to complete the look of this car, here I'm installing this beautiful KDM Nation sticker. And believe me when I say this sticker adds another 10 horsepower. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this video and you like what I've done to this Hyundai Elantra. As you can see, car mod can be fun, especially if you do it yourself. Let me know what you think about the look of this car so far in the comment section. As always, thank you for watching.
Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.